Being involved in sustainability can be overwhelming just because, you know, there are so many pressing global environmental issues, climate change, uh, ocean acidification, just general pollution. But I think one of the most powerful things about being involved in a college campus is collective action. One of the things that really made me want to enter the leadership role from being an LLC student was how much our LLC's advisor played a role in just, you know, making me feel connected. I wanted every other student that comes into AM to have that same feeling of belonging that I had. LLCs provide you not only a way to find your place on campus, but also a program that you can get involved in that will help you make that academic transition easier and your mental health transition easier. By being a peer mentor, I provide, you know, uh, just support and resources to these students because I didn't want any of them to feel, you know, overwhelmed or um, anxious. And obviously those feelings are natural. So like being a person who can help provide that and help them know that like, hey, we care about you. I know it's a big campus, but it still has a spot for you and helping people find that spot, um, I think is really important. So I want students to, you know, feel like they belong. Books and boba slash smoothies and studying when I was a freshman was one of my favorite activities because it would give me the opportunity to study in an environment with, you know, fun food and it's a good way to get together with your friends while also, you know, having a fun, like, social activity. Because I facilitated, I'm the peer mentor, they have somebody to talk to if they have specific questions. I mean, I'm no expert in, like, calculus or um, history or whatever, but I can help them find resources if they need it. So we usually take a weekend trip to Farm Patch once a month, and that is a local market that is open seven days a week. They have like cute little cacti, rose bushes, they have cute little houses that you can go into on their um, porch swings, all sorts of cute decorations and stuff. It's a cool way to, you know, find local plants and plants that are sustainably grown and um, take them home with you because, you know, plants definitely improve your mental health if you can take care of them. Um, I personally cannot, but I try my best. Um, but I love, I love going to the garden center and the kids really enjoy it too. So it's a really interesting and really fun way to connect with the students while getting them to something that has, you know, more interesting food and local food. I was walking down to the swap shop and this girl comes up to the hallway and she's like, you have to go see the swap shop. You have to, there's a swap shop happening down the hallway. Um, you can exchange your old items for a new one. I'm like, oh my goodness, that's awesome. Cause I was like, I, I, not only do I love hearing that other people are enjoying it, but like it's my organization and I'm involved with it. Um, and I'm just happy that it's catching on so well. So the swap shop gives students the opportunity to take in pre-loved items. So um, t-shirts, uh, tchotchkes, like little knickknacks, like little statues of frogs or whatever that they may have on their shelves that they don't necessarily want anymore. Small items that are non-electronic, um, accessories, so purses, hats, um, A&M merch that they have that doesn't necessarily fit them. And as long as it's lightly worn, they take an old item and swap it for a new item. And it's a great way for them to get something for essentially free because they don't want the item and they're gonna give theirs away and then they can take back something of, you know, a sort of equivalent value. We don't have a really strict system, but it's a really fun way for people to practice waste diversion because um, instead of just throwing that shirt away, they could give it to somebody else who they know wants it. In the next 10 years, I would love to see AM implement composting campus wide. It's something that we've been looking at for a while. We already have composting performed by our catering service, uh, Chartwells. They are fantastic about it and they donate some of the food waste as well to um, the Wildlife Center, which I think is really cool. Another thing that I would like to see is a significant decrease in um, waste emissions. We already have a lot of programs that we're making a difference and making progress towards these goals. And if we just continue doing that and continue listening to the experts that we have on campus, I believe we can really get there. Anim is a big school, so the change we make here does make a pretty big impact and it can influence other universities to make the same changes, it can influence parents of students to make changes, it can influence, you know, legislators who went to AM to make changes and spread it to other legislators. So, you know, it can't be overstated how big of an impact that we as college campuses have on sustainability. You know, each of us can't do everything, but we can at least do something and, you know, a lot of somethings together will eventually make a difference.